Welcome to the Cruise Report, brought to you by Norwegian Cruise Line, with your hosts, National Director of Sales for Canada, Dana Gain, and Business Development Manager, Ian Smythe. Now your host, Dana Gain. Welcome to this edition of the Cruise Report. This is the second show in our series, yes. and boy, do we have a show for you. So sit back and relax and ride the wave with us. We, uh, Ian, we also need to remind our viewers to stay tuned to the end of the show where we are going to draw yep. for the winner of a free Norwegian cruise. Excellent. That's very exciting. But what would the show be without my co-host and our business development manager, Thank you. Ian Smythe? Thank you, Dana. It's great to be here. I'm very happy to be here. Can't believe it. We're on uh, episode number two episode already. Episode two already. Where yep. does the time go? I know. So, Ian, tell me, what's on the agenda for today's show? A couple of things, Dana. Uh, very excited about the fact that last show we asked a question we ran a contest win a cruise the question was what ship would i be sailing on very shortly after our first show right the answer to that question was the norwegian getaway had a fabulous time by the way yes you did we had a lot of responses a lot of correct responses on that and we chose a winner and the winner i'm very happy to announce is danielle lego of carlson vague and lee travel in Cornwall, Ontario. That's She's our winner. That's very exciting. Congratulations, yes. Danielle. You'll be hearing from us soon. I think she'll be delighted to know that she's won a cruise. And, so that's uh, exciting yes. news. Very exciting news. Two other things. Yes. Two other things, if you don't mind me. I don't you. mind. Please go ahead. Two I items that I really want to talk about. Number one, Canadian dollars at par. Yes. You know that was a big issue for us in the first few months of this year yes. with the Canadian dollar doing all sorts of crazy things. Right. We responded to that with our Canadian dollars at par offer, which went on for the month of March. Very successful. It was very successful. Mm -hmm. Learned from a lot of people saying it got the phones ringing, got people talking about cruising, which is exactly what we want. Yes. And uh, I'm very p pleased to be able to say that the uh, Canadian dollars at par has now been held over until the end of April. So April 30th is the expiry on our Canadian dollars at par offer. And I know you said there was a second part. Part two. Part two. Free at sea. Free at sea offer uh, continues throughout the month of April as yes. well. So we have in the marketplace mm -hmm. two very strong offers. Canadian dollars at par. Yes. And free at sea offer. Perfect. Both expire the end of April. Great. That's excellent, Ian. I think our travel agent viewers will find both offers very attractive indeed. I think so, Dana. And at least that's the feedback that I'm getting as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. We are going to, we compiled a lot of com. we had a lot of comments, a lot of feedback from our last show, which is great. We, we want to know how we're doing. A surprising number, actually. Yes. And when we looked at that, we thought, okay, what are we going to talk about in our next show? And the theme from a lot of the questions and comments that we got are people wondering what actually happens once your guests are booked. So you've booked your passengers, your guests mm -hmm. on a Norwegian cruise line experience. Yes. How do they get from there to the cruise ship? So we thought, why don't we All take... All of this mystery surrounding it. You said earlier, we're going to demystify exactly. what happens and how folks get on board the ship. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to talk about on today's show. So that's, you know, and, and this is something that we have heard uh, a surprising number of questions on. And this is what we want to know. So don't hesitate to send us your yeah, questions because we want to point. answer them. Yep. Yes, exactly. So the question is, how do we demystify the process? The right. guest has arrived at the destination airport, and what happens now? Good point. A couple of things that I want to mention to you, and I say this always to travel, my travel agent uh, friends out there. Once you've booked your guests on Norwegian Cruise Line, encourage them to go online, get onto their, onto their profile, and uh, there they will find all sorts of information about their upcoming cruise. Right. There they'll also find their documents that they need to fill out, as yes. well, they'll be able to print their boarding pass and their baggage tags, mm -hmm. do that all online. That is the online embarkation portal. The online Correct. embarkation portal. Yes. On there, they'll also have the opportunity to plan out special dining that the reservations they may want to make, right. shows that they may want to make. They'll learn about the cruise itself, if mm -hmm. there's any theme nights we have on board. Shore they'll, excursions. Shore excursions, yep. all that. They'll be able to get excited about the cruise that they've just booked. We even have a countdown clock on there, Dana, so people can actually sit there and start, you know, scratching out the number of you days. You had to throw in the Norwegian countdown clock, line. didn't you? I, I have knew to you, throw that you had in, to include that. Yes. So, Ian, now your guest has made their, they've completed their online yep. check-in process. Yes. Uh, they are now at the destination airport, let's say, for example, Miami. Yes. So, tell us what happens now. They obviously get off the aircraft, they head down to the luggage carousel. Let's say in our case, they've booked their transfers with us as well. Right. They'll head down to the uh, baggage carousel, collect their bags, they'll look for our smiling Norwegian Cruise Line 
person there. They'll be holding a sign, clearly identifiable. Mm -hmm. They'll then escort them over to the, the transfer, our coach, our bus that will take them to the, cruise the pier, port. to mm -hmm. the cruise port, right. exactly. Now, of course, not everybody will have transfers booked. Some right. people will just get their luggage, head out the door, yep. grab a taxi, Uber, whatever people are doing these days. Lots of options available. Lots of options, and they'll get themselves to the cruise port. Okay, so then the next step is they've arrived at the cruise port. Yes. Uh, what time would you say that would be? I would say you're looking at anywhere from three to four hours, given the fact that let's say folks left uh, their their morning flight and you know they're arriving at their destination midday. They'll be aware, obviously, of what time that cruise ship will be sailing at. Right. So back that up about three to four hours is when folks want to start thinking about arriving at the the pier at the port itself. Certainly, certainly, and and it's always a good idea to have that sense of timing. So we know at this point the luggage is collected by the porters Correct. at the cruise That's terminal. Right. Yep. The guest continues inside the terminal building. Right. They finish their embarkation. Lots of signs. Yes. Easy to find Directing out where to go. people everywhere. Yep. Okay, Ian, let's get to the fun part. The fun part. Tell me it. what happens once they're on board. So they're going to make their way from where the check-in area, and they're going to pass a lot of smiling, happy, clapping, music-going Norwegian Cruise Line folks that are yep. welcoming them on board. And at this point, most guests, at least from my experience anyway, are asking two things, Dana. They're asking, how do I get to my cabin? And how do I get to the food? Exactly. Because they've had a long day. Think about it. It's midday now. Right. They're excited. They're on board. And they're going to go straight for the food. And we love that part. And that's that's fantastic. And they can do maybe a little bit of exploring. But, it, the, you know, it's fun to watch the buzz. It's fun to watch yeah. the expressions on it, people's faces as they get on board for the first time. And you can always spot the new yes. cruisers, don't you find? Yes, absolutely. So this is really, I'm glad you brought up the buzz. I always find that first few hours, you're walking around the ship, or at yeah. least I am anyway, and I'm noticing people are kind of sort of coming to terms with the fact that, wow, we're actually standing on board the cruise ship that we've been watching videos of and or imagining. looking at pictures of. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be our home for the next seven days. It's right? true. You know, it's so interesting. For those of us in the cruise industry, yeah. we sometimes forget how intimidating the idea of all of these pieces yes. sort of fitting yeah. together are, If you, particularly if you've never been through it before. That's right. And so the idea of sort of taking all of those pieces and understanding the process in advance, yeah. hopefully that can add a little comfort yep. to our, our yep. travel agents and their guests. I think so. And I mean, at this point, also people are realizing, wow, I'm done with lineups and check-ins, and I'm done with flights and airports, and I don't have to worry about my luggage anymore. Exactly. They're actually coming to the terms, as I said, with the fact that this is it. I'm done, and it's just time to relax and, I'm and here. enjoy this beautiful ship. And Absolutely. all the food, exactly. all the fantastic That's food. Right. Yep. And so, um, so I, you know, it's very helpful, I think. I, I think it's very helpful, and I hope that uh, it's answered or demystified, demystified as yeah. you've said. Now, something else I love and I know is very helpful, and that's our viewer mail segment. We, we do have we got, a viewer mail segment. We had to go through a lot of the viewer mail uh, questions and comments, which we was great. We had hundreds, hundreds of submissions of questions we for us did. that we needed to sort of pick through and decide uh, what is going to be the most representative of what people want to know. And one of the questions that kept coming up was with regard to the, our favorite part uh, your favorite thing to experience on a Norwegian ship. And that came to us from Sarah at Expedia Cruise Ship Centers, Burlington. So thank you, Sarah. And what would your answer be? There's so many things I'd have to choose. Uh, there's food, there's entertainment, obviously. There's the ambiance of the ship. It boils down to, for me anyway, the waterfront. I love the waterfront. I love the fact that we have dining, we have our bars. We brought them outside, Dana, so people can actually have a drink sitting outside in our wicker furniture, or they can go to one of our specialty restaurants and have a, have a great meal and they're dining outside under the moon and the, the stars, they're like, hearing the ocean lapping experience. below. I love the waterfront, so if people haven't done that, I really encourage them We to definitely do that. encourage that. And Ian, don't forget, we reminded our viewers at the beginning that if they submitted a question after our first show, we would select one lucky travel partner Ooh, yes. to sail with us. Yes. So I think it's that time. What do you think? May I do the honors? I well, Yes, please. So we have a winner. We drew from all of our questions, as Dana said. The winner of our experience on board the Norwegian Star sailing out of Tampa is Grant Morris of Grant Morris Cruise and Travel in Curtis, Ontario. So congratulations, congratulations Grant. Congratulations, You'll be Grant. hearing from me very soon. Join us next time as we discuss more hot topics and bring the cruise conversation to you, including NCL University, as well as the launch of our very own Canada-hosted Seminars at Sea. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you hear the horn, it must be the cruise report. I'm your host, Dana Gain. And I'm Ian Smy saying, bon voyage and happy selling.